Shakana suited on 947. We're joined by Shannon Ezra, who stars in Lioness. A story about a woman who loses her children, her lover, her freedom when she's framed for fraud committed by her husband before he dies. Described as effusive, dynamic, charming, and wildly passionate, the beautiful, incredibly talented Shannon Ezra, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> for me in, in life like just so I can start my day like as you walk into the room when you wake no, up in the morning that would be just wonderful oh, thank Shannon. you I yeah. mean I'm a, yeah, go ahead. We're going to turn her into an app at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Shannon, I'm a huge fan. Uh, Matt was going through your plethora of roles that you played. And I did not know that you're the first person to play the same role in, what, four different productions? Yes. That's insane. It's kind of crazy. I, I mean, I remember going through Twitter and Sandra Stain just being like, everybody who's like in a legal battle, everyone's like, I need to call Sandra Stain. Uh, no, and also not, it's actually, it's five telenovelas. Five. Yeah, because we moved into the Mnet realm of yes. legacy. No, no, I, I, I actually walked in through security now, and the security man was like, "Sandra Stain, how's it?" Hey, Stain, and I was no. like, "How's it, man? How's it going?" <laughs> wow, so you, you just a bona fide lawyer in essence. I. I mean, I cannot practice law. I will yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. be thrown out. I mean, uh, a, a couple <laughs> of people qualified. could argue. A couple of people could argue that you. And they're welcome are. to it. And if somebody writes the right lines for me, I'll yeah. argue back. But <laughs> correct. Yeah. Right. Here's the thing, though. You've crossed over in a way that a lot of white actresses have not been able to. Yeah, it's been. I mean, it's it's wild to think of it. And and when I when I think of when Shauna Ferguson initially asked me if I'd be interested. I wonder if he kind of secretly had an idea that Sandra may work out as well as she did. I don't yeah. know, but it's been an absolute blessing because there were some very, very dry days, yeah. you know, where mm. you're not, you know, there was like two years where I didn't work. And that's terrifying as an actor. So, mm. I mean, Sandra Stein has really been just the biggest blessing. And look at you now, killing it in Lioness. I mean, if you put on your Twitter at any given moment, in any day, <laughs> it's Lioness essay trending at number one. What's that like? It's so unfathomable to me that it's being received as well as it is. But at the same time, it's not really that big a surprise because it's such a brilliant show. And I don't say that because I'm in it. It's mm. genuinely a fantastic production. I mean, you mentioned that when you were starting on production of season two how nervous you were you read the script you loved it but a part of you felt can I do oh, this no I had four days of being an absolute wreck I yeah. just cried I mean I was inconsolable I, my, I, it was like what, what can I do for you I'm like, <laughs> 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 I don't have the talent I've used it up on season one like yeah. genuine 100%. fear and um, well I think it's turning out okay I think it's turning out amazing <laughs> do you think people understand that that's a real thing that you especially on the back of a successful season one that pressure getting into season two is a completely different it's ball game it's a totally different ball game because now people have an expectation mm. you've, you've yeah, set a you've yeah. set a standard mm. and uh, and I have a, a high enough standard for myself yeah. so mm. it, that's that's trouble so. well you're clearly doing something right thank if you, you if you just tuned in thank we're hanging out with Shannon Ezra you got questions for her hit us up at 947 Joburg on Twitter. It's uh, Jax Jones, the MNIC. Where did you go on 947 Drive with Tando? Hanging out with Shannon Ezra. She stars as Samantha in Lioness. Catch it every single Thursday, 8 p.m. on MNET. But I mean, I found this baffling. You played two different roles on one show. That That is true. What in the Robert Marawa are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it was a while ago. I mean, I, I uh, back in 2004, I got cast on Essendingo uh, playing Kyle Ortlip's girlfriend, Yvette May, a very troubled young woman who uh, became involved in a, in a cult. And uh, it was just a three-month storyline. She had a very sad exit. And then, you know, fast forward 10 years later... And I was sitting with my agent at the time and he said, um, when were you on Essie Dingo? I said, no, a while ago. And he was like, I think you can go up for this part. And I was like, oh, okay, sure, that sounds great. And I said, well, when's the audition? And he said, oh, no, no, no audition. It's yours if you it, want it. It's yours. Wow. And I was like, I'm sorry, what's that now? That's like after I've been eating like the dirt for six years in wow. Los Angeles. I was like, I'm sorry, I don't understand anything you just said to me. What? Speaking of eating the dirt in Los Angeles, when I first met you, I think that's the conversation we were having. Yeah. You told me how you packed up your bags, you applied for a visa, you left to search for the American dream. Oh, the land of milk and honey. And yes, yes. Tell everyone what happened. Oh, that we may have to do another show all about that. <laughs> you know what? It was, um, it actually turned out to be a journey of the soul. Yeah. 
And it turned out that it was not meant to be for me at that time in my life. And uh, I realized that I needed to be home in order to feel a soul connection to work. And that's why it's so important to be here and be making the work that I'm, I'm making because it, it, it resonates with me on a very, very different level. Mm. Fame is something that I, I, I really do caution away from it. And that Hollywood life, you have to really lean in mm-hmm. and that... That is, it's a very, that's a big challenge. Well, we're happy you stayed because we get to witness the beauty that is Lioness. Thank you. Tune in uh, every Thursday, 8 p.m. on Mnet. Shannon, you're just an absolute delight. Uh, You're one of the most talented people I've ever met. You're also so giving with your heart. I've never met someone who's so giving. She's like, what do you need? I will give you it. Let me sort you out. Let me call. I have you out. Guys, my therapist. (laughs) doesn't think that that's the best thing. Okay, what does your therapist think? No, I'm sure, no, I, I don't want to speak for her, but I definitely have some boundary issues. I don't like people being disappointed with me. It's like yeah. the worst feeling in the world. Yeah. If people are disappointed with me or if I feel embarrassed, mm. that combination probably may be lethal. It's well, great for us, but <laughs> I can imagine how it would be pretty training for you. Shannon Ezra, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Nine four seven drive with Tando. This is nine four seven.